Welcome back to Business Mathematics 2 MA1203. We were we are still going to talk about the first order linear autonomous difference equation. Okay, yeah? uh, remember again what do we mean by first order? This one t plus one and t. So you have first order linear all the variable all the variable y t plus one y t is to the power of one. Yes. Autonomous, it doesn't depends on t uh, explicitly. And difference equation, this one, yeah? So this is the period t plus 1 and period t, so you have the difference. Okay. With a and b are known coefficients. So we are going to talk about the solution of this. So we are going to talk about the solution of this. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to talk about the solution of uh, this one. y t plus 1 equals a y t plus b for the first case i would like to talk about when a is 1 when a is 1 you have y t plus 1 equals y t plus b okay uh, if given y 0 so you have y 1 is y 0 plus b what about y2? y2 is uh, y1, based on this, y1 plus b. But y1 is y0 plus b. So you have y0 plus b. This is this. Uh, okay. Plus 1. So you have y0 plus 2b. Okay. Um, y3 is given by y3 y2 plus b so you have what is y2 uh, y2 is y0 plus 2b y0 plus 2b plus b so you have y0 plus 3b and so you have y0 plus 3b so for yt you have y0 plus b times t Okay, so this is the explicit solution. This is the explicit solution. This is the, the difference equation and the solution is given by this. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. So we are, uh, we are talking about the explicit solution of this. Okay, what about when case A is not 1? When A is not 1? I would like to remind you first that if I have 1 plus a plus a squared plus a to the power of t minus 1, this is the same as uh, 1 divided by 1, uh, sorry, no, uh, uh, this will give you uh, what? a to the power of t minus 1 divided by a minus 1. Okay, yeah? based on the uh, geometric series. Geometric series. So, when case a uh, it doesn't equal to 1, so you have yt plus 1 equals a y t plus b. Okay, yeah? so you have y uh, given y0 given y0 so you have y1 is a y0 plus b okay what about y2 y2 is a y1 plus b but y1 is this so you have a times a y0 plus b plus b so you have a squared y0 plus a b plus b Okay, you agree? Yes. What about y3? y3 is a y2 plus b. And what is y2? y2 is this. a squared y0 plus ab plus b. So you have a to the power of 3 y0 plus a squared b. Oh, don't forget this is plus b. a squared b plus ab plus b okay yeah? can you guess what if i have y4 
Very good. You will have a to the power of 4y0 plus a to the power of 3b plus a to the power of 2b plus ab plus b. Very good. And what about if I have... Um, let's... Okay, yeah. Let's look at this. Okay. And then what about if I have yt? Can you guess? Yes. a to the power of t of y0 plus a to the power of t minus 1, b, plus a to the power of t minus 2, b, plus t, t, uh, blah, blah, plus a, b, plus b. So this is the same as a to the power of t, y0, and b you can factor out. So you have a to the power of t minus 1 plus a to the power of t minus 2 plus uh, blah 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 plus a b, uh, sorry, plus a plus 1. And this is the same as 1 plus a plus a squared plus plus a to the power of t minus 1. Based on this, this is the same as a to the power of t minus 1 divided by a minus 1. Oh yeah, okay yeah. Or you can uh, use uh, this the same, this is the same. 1 minus a to the power of t or 1 minus a, yeah. Okay, so for this one, yt will give you a to the power of t times y0, this is the explicit uh, solution, uh, times b times 1 minus a, 1 minus a to the power of t. Okay, so this is the explicit solution. So when a is 1, when a is 1, when a is 1, you have this as your solution when a is 1. And when a is not 1, you have this as your solution. Okay, so we are going to go back. So this is your solution. So when a is not 1, you have this as your solution. And if a equals 1, you have this as your solution. Okay. And this is the example. Agus is saving 100 in a bank if the interest rate is 10% PA and is compounded yearly. Find the accumulated amount of money after 7 years. Let yt denote the amount of money at time t. So we have a difference equation this. Okay. Or you can just uh, look uh, like this. yt plus 1 minus yt equals 0 0.1 yt. Okay, yt plus 1 minus yt equals 0.1 yt, but this is the same as this. Okay, you can uh, get uh, yt to the other side, so you have 1 yt plus 0 plus 1 yt, so you have 1.1 yt. Okay, so uh, uh, using the formula, this is a, a is 1.1, so using the formula, you have, and b is 0 here, b is 0. So you have this, b is this, y0 is 100, so you can just plug into the formula and you have yt is this. If you want to know after 7 years, so you have uh, to the power of 7, that is this one, this is dollar. Okay, yeah. Uh, another problem, if now every every month, every month, you are, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, every year, so every year you, you deposit $100. So you have this at time t, in year, sorry, in year, uh, at year t plus 1, the saving will become 100 more than the year before and has gained an interest rate of 10% of his previous savings. So the difference equation is given by this. Okay, yeah? don't forget, you have an additional 100 every month. You have an additional 100 every month. So you have A is 1.1, B is 100, and Y0 is 100 also. 
So you can plug in to the formula and you have this. And if you want to uh, have the, the, the money, the accumulated amount of money after seven years, you can just plug in seven, 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 and there you go. And there you go. Okay, in the next session, uh, we are going to talk about the stability of solution, the stability of solution. Okay, thank you.